Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Prashant here. So today we will be looking into how we can implement this punch out. This is something which we always fear that how to implement punch out. So it's quite easy. Let's proceed. So first of all, uh, we need to have uh, this login. We or I should say the details which we need to put for punch out. So how we extract that detail. So let me tell you, uh, client will have their business login. So either they will create one for you or uh, they will be having that. So how to extract few details from that login that will be utilized to uh, enter in our Fusion instance and make the connectivity. So once you uh, log in into that Amazon business part, then you need to go to the business settings and under business settings, you need to go to the groups. And you will have a lot of groups that will be created uh, by them. So any of the group uh, which we are putting as a punch out integration implementation part. So go to that. So I'm just highlighting this need to go to this punch out and then go to this uh, under this punch out. We will find uh, this next page will open, which will say there are a lot of options here. We need to go to purchasing systems for our system integrations before going to that let me tell you we can download the unsbsc uh, product classification list whatever this amazon is using so as this is specifically i'm talking about the amazon punch out that we will be enabling so we can download this because they are using the unsbsc category and we are in our client we can have any of the category and we need to map that as well that will come in later phase but uh, let's proceed once we click on this purchasing system we will get this actual details they will be sharing some from identity cxml then some shared secrets so these are the identity and password this act as identity and password and this is the unique purchase order request url this is not used for our punch out part but yes this is the url which they may expect the they should get purchase order on this url so for our discussion let's be limited to this from identity shared secret and punch out and here taxonomy they are using this unspsc so that's okay so we don't have any issue with any of the rest of the things so we are concerned about this from identity shared secret and punch out url so moving forward so when we log in into our instance we get this go to catalog and under catalog we need to go to this manage catalogs create a new punch out catalog as soon as you create a punch out catalog you can give any name but the detail that you need to give it's for our reference these names and descriptions and uh, we are um, one of the supplier that we would have created in system we are mapping that supplier so that supply and supplier side then put the name as amazon and that supplier id we will be having and then punch out URL, which I was say, saying on the last page, we need to have this handy and password. Password is again this uh, shared secret in CXML. So that is the password we need to provide. And there is a domain and identity. These two elements that we need to provide are domain, some network ID, uh, this kind of thing for uh, Amazon and identity. Again, it's from identity that I was showing you. So on this screen, punch out system from identity shared secret so this values we enter as a password our domain and identity and just click on test connection it will say successfully done when you provided all the values correctly and i'm giving a default category uh, whenever you do a punch out that item will be brought back to your request or in your card for that we need to have a mapping set defined that whatever category is coming should be mapped to this particular category but if something is not there then which default category should be utilized so we are uh, i have given this something like this otherwise we can have miscellaneous as well and uh, just tell client that miscellaneous will be utilized if anything extra comes out of this mapping set so this was the page which is most important to pull out the information for this setup and uh, after that, uh, I was saying we need to create a mapping set. So for this, we need to again go to catalog and then go to this manage supplier content map set. Here we need to create one. We can give any of the name for which procurement BU we are doing this. And then comes uh, this content map set, which I have just saved. And then click on this manage maps. And you will have this window where you can define, you can just click on create as soon as you click create button there will be a, a spreadsheet that will be downloaded 
and this will be with all the details so we need to provide what is the external category i mean in this case it will be a list of unsvsc codes and internal category so this code is referring to this so there can be multiple codes which can refer to single category so we need to upload update this and upload so this will hold the category mapping and this will be automatically pulled up when you were, or when you will be doing that part and then go to manage content zone. So this is one of the key setup that we need to do after creating a punch out cut catalog. So uh, after that, uh, you need to create a content zone, just click plus here, and then you will find all the catalogs that you would have created and just click on apply and done and you are there. So this thing uh, you have to do and let me show you similar thing in system as well for a minute. Uh, let me go through this, click on home. Now I have just created one of the catalogs so you can see one part. I will just show you how we work on that. Just going through this catalog part here, we need to go to this setup and there would be the catalog. So catalog is the one which I have just shown you like Amazon one. And it will be punch out, it's Dell and all. I have taken the example of Amazon. So if I click on this and just click on edit, I will find those details that I just told you. So this Oracle has already done, which is in their demo instance. Now uh, going back and just clicking here. And then we, we went to the manage content zone as well. So when we create a content zone, we have we created this content zone uh, let's suppose for us one i created one content zone and click on edit so this is the key which i was trying to uh, show you in last uh, slide uh, it was just click here catalogs plus so all the catalogs amazon punch out or the one uh, which we have created uh, as a local catalog so all catalogs we are just we need to add in a content zone otherwise it won't be accessible so whatever criteria you want to put it you can put it but until unless you put all the catalogs in your content zone it won't be visible to you on your purchase requisition page so going back to requisition so so that i will show you how this works just click on this purchase requisition you can directly give the name of amazon in your search so I have just searched this as Amazon. Click here, it will take us to the Amazon website. When you will be logged doing this first time, it will ask you the name, just give any name or your name there. And then uh, he will uh, take you, the system will take you here. Now we need to search the uh, data that we want to see here. So let me search. Okay, I'm not able to see that search window. So let me take this Amazon basics, this one, any of the item that I was seeing, I just click on add to cart and submit these item for approval. So I have added to cart and this submit of approval means it will be transferred to my system. So it is coming back to our system. So once this come back, then it's a normal flow that we received it in our SSP, self service procurement and then proceed. Uh, whatever rules whatever mapping it creates the mapping part and it takes the tag according to the category or whatever you have configured it goes like this so it's quite simple just a uh, setup part that we have done configuration and now you can see this works like this uh, we have a requisition that has been pulled out from the punch out that means from this website of amazon so thanks for watching that's all